U.S. President Joe Biden on Wednesday signed into law an aid package that includes aid for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan as well as a provision that would force social media site TikTok to be sold or be banned in the U.S. The signing of the assistance package comes after a long battle between Democrats and Republicans in Congress over the much-needed assistance to Ukraine. It's a good day for America, it's a good day for Europe and it's a good day for world peace. It's going to make America safer, it's going to make the world safer and it continues America's leadership in the world and everyone knows it, Biden said at White House event while announcing the signing of the package. We rose to the moment. We came together and we got it done. Now we need to move fast, and we are, he went on saying. The US president underscored that the bill also includes a surge of humanitarian relief for Palestinians in Gaza suffering as the Israel-Hamas war continues. He stressed that Israel must ensure the humanitarian aid for Palestinians in bill reaches Gaza without delay. Biden also signed the first tranche from about $61 billion military aid package allocated for Ukraine, according to US official. The shipment of the aid would begin in the next few hours. The aid is expected to include air defense capabilities, artillery rounds, armored vehicles and other weapons to boost Ukrainian forces amid intensified Russian attacks. Ukrainian fighters discovered the command post and radar station of the S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft missile complex belonging to the invading Russian army through a drone. Later, the radar station and the anti-aircraft complex were completely destroyed by continuous fire from the HIMARS rocket launcher system. Ukrainian forces have found success with the HIMARS on the battlefield since they arrived in the early summer of 2022, using its GPS-guided rockets to target Russian sites like ammunition depots, command posts, and bridges. The weapons were also critical in helping Ukraine recapture territory around the southern Kherson region. The UK-based Royal United Services Institute wrote in an assessment last year that the HIMARS and US made M2 270 multiple launch rocket systems signaled the moment where Russia's offensive in eastern Ukraine ended and the war transitioned into a new phase. Ukrainian forces need more than just US-made Hamars rockets to blunt the increasing rate of Russian artillery fire, according to three war experts. Oil refining in Russia dropped to nearly yearly minimum due to drone attacks. Oil refining in Russia has dropped to nearly a yearly minimum. The cause of this has been drone strikes on oil refineries and their slow repair, Bloomberg reports. The source indicates that from April the 11th to the 17th, Russia processed 5.22 million barrels of oil per day. This is approximately 10,000 barrels per day or 0.2% lower than the average for the previous seven days. Bloomberg writes that Ukraine has targeted an important sector of Russia's economy and its government aims to restrict fuel supplies to the front line against the military. This will also reduce revenue to the Russian budget. Earlier this year, drones targeted key Russian refineries, causing their partial or complete shutdown, the material states. The source also notes that during the period from April the 11th to the 17th, most of the affected facilities were operating at a level close to the previous weekly average but still lower than the productivity before the attacks. The source indicates that the daily rates of crude oil processing at refineries affected by Ukrainian drone attacks from April the 1st to the 17th averaged 1.23 million barrels. This is approximately 280,000 barrels per day lower than the average from the period from January the 1st to the 24th. The Twapse plant is still not operational, and other damaged refineries have not restored their productivity to pre-attack levels. Oil processing at the Norsi plant in Nizhny Novgorod is also below January levels. During April as a whole, Russian refinery runs have averaged about 5.23 million barrels a day, near the lowest levels since last May, Bloomberg wrote. Over the past few months, several major refineries in various regions of Russia have been targeted by drone attacks. In most cases, significant equipment has been damaged, which is quite difficult to procure under sanctions. Repairing these plants is a lengthy process. However, this has sparked a negative reaction in the US. For instance, the head of the Pentagon, Lloyd Austin, believes that Ukrainian strikes on Russian refineries could have implications for the global energy situation. Mikhailo Podolyak, 
an advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, stated that Ukraine will continue to target Russian refineries for destruction.